very last question of the future for Rock Nation Sports and their uh, boxing uh, department of the of Rock Nations. What, what can we expect from the future? You guys lost Cotto, you have Andre Ward, but what can we expect? Are you guys going to go on a free agency like shopping spree or something? Like, what can we expect from the future? Listen, if, there, if we feel like there's a fighter out there that, that fits our profile, you know, of course, we're, we're interested in, in exploring, you know, what that what that could look like. Mm -hmm. um, but when we got into the business, it wasn't about being the biggest. You know, we're not trying to compete with the Golden Boys in the top ranks or whomever's out there. You know, Al Heyman. Mm -hmm. we're, 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 not, we're not about that. We're about, you know, having a boxing division where we can help grow some of these fighters' careers both inside and outside the ring. Um, you know, hopefully work with, with future champions. Um, and, and our goal is to be the best, not the biggest. There's a difference, mm -hmm. okay? We just want, we want to be great at what we do. And we want to make sure that our clients, our boxers, feel like we're a great partner of theirs, mm -hmm. okay? If we can accomplish that, then we've met our goals. But size and scale, you know, everyone talks about, well, who's the next boxer you're going to sign? It's not about the next boxer. Mm -hmm. We want to take care of the boxers we have, Yeah. right? We mm -hmm. want to make sure. That's why, even on the sports side, we don't have 100 athletes. Mm -hmm. We've got 35. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we want to be able to support those 35 the way they, need, they deserve to be supported. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Give them the infrastructure and the love and the focus and the attention that they deserve. Yeah. Um, so for us, again, it's about being great. It's not about being the biggest. Is there a name out there that's caught your eye or that you kept your eye on? You know what? That's not really what I do. You know, I'm not a talent evaluator. Mm -hmm. You know, that's for Dino and Josh Roy and our boxing department to focus on. Um, you know, I'll support them any way I possibly can. But I don't... You know, I don't, I don't have an eye for talent when it comes to that, and I don't recruit. I do a lot of recruiting on the other side, you know, on the sports side of the business, but I don't get involved in, 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 in the recruiting of our boxers. Do you, you actually oh. mentioned Rihanna. Um, I, I was wondering, do, do you find that music and boxing kind of go hand in hand together? I know a lot of boxers, you know, I mean, obviously they have ring yeah, music. I mean, listen, and music, and, music and boxing go hand in hand, music and sports go hand in hand, you know, music is such a big part of culture, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's interesting, every every athlete wants to be an artist and every artist wants to be an athlete, yeah. you know what I mean? And I think one of the beautiful things that Jay and his partners have done at Rock Nation is they've created a platform where we've really integrated both mm -hmm. sports and entertainment, sports and music together, mm -hmm. um, you know, which is just, you know, which is very, very unique. Uh, we haven't exploited it as much as perhaps we, we, we should, but I think that's <clears throat> one of the things that we're going to focus on as we move forward. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a cool thing to be a part of, and, and when you see the two intersecting together, it's pretty powerful. That is just a little small question. People question a lot why JC doesn't contribute much to, to, the, to the fight week, to, to exposing the, the Department of Boxing from Rock Nation. Uh, what can you tell people about it, that? About it's, really, it's not that he doesn't want to get involved. It's, it's really respect. Mm -hmm. You know, Jay, Jay Z doesn't you know want to put him front, himself in front of anything. It's like he he's steals too, the thunder. Yeah, he's got too much respect for for for, for the boxers, for for the Andre Words of the world, for the athletes, mm -hmm. for the Kevin Durant's of the world, for all of his artists. So you know, he, he, he takes a backseat role mm -hmm. so that they can shine. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when you know when, when Jay feels like he he'll, he he potentially could become bigger than the client or bigger than the promotion, mm -hmm. he'd rather take a step back and, 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 and kind of be behind the curtain. But the reality is he's involved in every decision. He mm -hmm. knows exactly what's going on with this fight. He knows exactly what's happening. Um, you know, he's very close to it. But that doesn't, and so, so I think the perception is wrong. I mean, just because he doesn't, you know, sit ringside or just because he doesn't, you know, you know, do a post on the fight. Mm -hmm. People think that he's not involved, he's not contributing. No, he's contributing in different ways. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we are the front people for him, but, but he's very active. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and he's very proud of Andre. He's proud of, you know, what Andre's doing. Um, and whether he's at the fight on Saturday or watching it on HBO pay-per-view, um, he'll know what's going on. Um, last question, Jay-Z. Rumors that he might drop a new album. Do you have any insight on them? Uh-oh. Yeah, well, you know, listen, let, let's see what happens. You know, uh, uh, you know, I, 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 he's been busy. All I can tell you is that he's, he's been busy. Um, uh, but, but uh, you know, don't be surprised if that's, if that's true. Yeah. Uh, one last question for me. Um, just 
with all the athletes that you do have, I mean, obviously they're in, in a lot of different sports, do you find that it's a little more difficult to, to market and get exposure for boxers compared to maybe a football player or a basketball player? Because obviously boxing is, is more of a niche sport than no the question. other ones. You know, I mean, listen, uh, even the Andre Wards, you know, who's, who's obviously at the peak of, of the boxing world, mm -hmm. and, uh, arguably the best fighter in the world, um, you know, about boxing has a limited following. It's growing, and, mm -hmm. and, and I think there's a lot of excitement, a lot of energy within the sport right now. But um, it, it's hard to compare a boxer, um, you know, even an elite boxer, mm -hmm. and someone like, as an example, like Kevin Durant. Yeah. Um, you know, who, who is consistently on television, who is 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 a is a brand and, and celebrity. That people throughout the mainstream can identify with and know about uh, and see on a consistent basis. It's just it's just very different. Mm -hmm. uh, although we're having a lot of success with Andre right now. I mean, you know, you look at the brands that are partnering with him for this fight. You know, Monster, and Life Ten Water, and Jet Lux, and mm -hmm. um, Lift, and you know, the list goes on and on. I mean, he's got so many great great partners. Zappos is a new partner of his. Mm -hmm. So slowly but surely. You know, we're educating people on who Andre is and what his values are and, 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 and who he is, not only inside the ring, but outside the ring. And it's a compelling story. And, and companies are really interested in working with him. He's, he's highly intelligent. He's very articulate. He's a good-looking guy. He's got great values. Um, and he's a great partner. I mean, you see some of the things that he's doing just instinctively while he's been here over the last couple of days, you know, with the Monster headphones, with the Life 10 water bottle. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, he, he's, he's a great brand ambassador, and he's somebody that we think, um, you know, we've got some really good momentum with, and, and, and we think he can be a star uh, in the mainstream. Uh, totally.